Hello, I'm Commander Exegius. Part of our series on engineering blueprints for core internals, let's look at frameshift drives. The frameshift drive allows us to jump to both supercruise and hyperspace and is what determines our current and maximum jump range. Let's look at the various blueprints and experimental effects available for our frameshift drive. We'll start with by far the most popular blueprint, Increased Range. This blueprint raises our optimal mass by 55%, generally increasing our jump range by a similar amount. This does add an additional 15% power draw, 30% more mass, and 15% reduction in integrity. This is generally the best choice for almost any build, as the quality of life improvement is significant. The Faster Boot Sequence Blueprint reduces the boot time of the module by 80%. This isn't the time needed to charge for a jump, nothing modifies that. This adjusts the time it takes the module to come back online if powered down. This can be a good choice for ships where power generation is at a premium and the FSD must be powered off during combat, as this will reduce the module boot time from 10 to 2 seconds. For our final FSD Blueprint, we have Shielded which increases our integrity by 125%, lowers our heat generation by 30%, and increases our optimal mass by 15%. This is all at the expense of 20% additional overall mass. This can be a good choice for high heat or hull tank combat ships where you are at risk of losing your FSD and therefore the ability to escape your opponent. Frameshift drives have several experimental effects available. We'll start with one of the most common, Deep Charge. This experimental effect allows us to use an additional 10% fuel per jump at the cost of an additional 5% power usage. This is the most useful on small ships with frameshift drives class 5 or smaller. Mass Manager is the second most common experimental, increasing our optimal mass by 4%, giving us an almost equal boost to our overall range on ships with a class 6 or larger frameshift drive. This is, however, at the cost of a loss of 8% module integrity. This is generally the best choice for large vessels. Double Braced increases our integrity an additional 25%, which can be useful on hull tank or trading ships where your FSD may be critical to survival. The Strip Down Blueprint can be a good choice for combat or speed builds where jump range isn't critical but speed and maneuverability is as it lowers our mass by another 10%. Finally, Thermal Spread lowers our heat generation by 10%, which is a great choice for high heat combat builds where energy weapons such as rails or plasma accelerators or shield cell banks are used. Hopefully this detailed look at frameshift drives will help you select the best blueprints and experimental effects for your build. Whether you're creating a long distance exploration vessel or highly potent combat ship, there is a great blueprint and experimental choice available. Once again, this has been Commander Exegius reminding you to fly dangerously and thanks for watching.